It's September 4th. The year is 573 BC, and Ezekiel has now been in captivity in Babylon for 30 years. We read on August 15th where God first revealed Himself to Ezekiel on the plains outside of Babylon, where the young prophet saw the spectacular vision of four angelic beings that surround God's throne. We read on August 17th where Ezekiel again saw this vision of God's presence when he was transported in a vision back to Jerusalem to see the atrocities that were taking place at the temple complex. Today we read where Ezekiel again sees this same vision of God's presence, but this time it's not in the context of judgment or warning, but instead the presence of the Lord surrounded by these four angelic creatures marks a celebratory event. God reveals to Ezekiel a startling vision of a new temple that will exist in Jerusalem. We read in chapter 43 verse 7, This is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell among the children of Israel forever. It's a glorious vision, and the contrast of that vision to Ezekiel's conditions couldn't be greater. Jerusalem had recently fallen and the original temple had been destroyed. The Jewish people were only a third of the way through their captivity, with still roughly 50 years to endure before their ordeal would end. And here, during their darkest hours, God offers them a ray of hope by showing them a glimpse of their future. God lifts the curtain to show Ezekiel that he is not finished with the Jewish people. He reminds them that not only will their season of discipline come to an end, but he shows them that their future will be glorious. The new temple will exceed the old temple in splendor and majesty. Jerusalem will again be the focus and envy of the world because God Himself will once again dwell among them. We've seen repeatedly throughout our readings, and we see it again today. God knows the future. It involves amazingly wonderful things for those who will seek Him and who will cooperate with Him and His plans for world redemption. Here's today's application. Have you ever considered your ultimate future? 1 Corinthians 2.9 tells us that no eye has seen or ear heard or mind imagined the things God has prepared for those who love Him. If you are a follower of Christ, your future is more glorious than you can imagine. As a follower of Jesus, your destiny is awesome. It's a future, both in this life and beyond, that is glorious. We'll read more about this issue in the coming days. But today, let this single but powerful reality give you hope and encouragement. Now here's today's prayer. 